I am back with another keyboard build. This one is a personal one. I got it a couple weeks ago. It was from a group buy that I helped do their sales page on. If you remember the end game, searching for my end game video with Hippio, this is the keyboard that came from that. So I haven't built a keyboard in like, oh gosh, like three months. And my dream keyboard is not what you expect at all. These are the parts. This box has the PCB and an FR for plate, just different than what I usually go for. It's a little bit harder than a PC plate. The sound is also a little bit different as well. Keycaps, tell you what these are later. Keyboard is heavy. This is a vertex angle. Very cool packaging. You get a card, it says, wish you have a great typing journey with the angle. You get a nice sticker. Small mini box of lots of tools, gaskets, screws, wrenches, feet. I like that everything's labeled, stabilizer shims, a daughter board, very nice. A PC plate, foams, another PCB. There's supposed to be two PCBs. The soldered PCB. So it's a soldered PCB. I haven't done a soldered build in a long time. I used to think soldered builds were like the way to go since you get some permanence out of it, but now hot swap's easier. So this is fancy where it comes in a cloth. I've never had a keyboard come in a cloth, quite heavy. Okay, there it is. Ooh, beautiful case. TKL, it's got my name on it. It's got my logo. It's nice and gray. It's gunmetal gray. So because it's so heavy, I will put this cloth on the table. Make sure it doesn't dent anything. So overall, it looks like an easy build, right? There's a lot of extra parts in here. I'll make sure that everything is soldered. If I don't have to solder, I won't. Okay, everything's soldered. This is like if I can build two configs of it. If I want to build a PC version and then an FR4 version, you know what? Maybe I will. It's song gun layout. WKL. They're basically the same PCB, except just different plates. So there's two configurations. Might go for both. And then I'll just switch it off whenever I feel like it. Whatever this is. I think this just goes on the very bottom. Very thin sheet. Probably gonna give it a nice poppy sound. Not sure if I want that. My personal end game is like muted, boring, and gamer. <laughs> Except no RGB, no RGB. I'm not not about that. So I'm gonna get stabilizers and that's probably the first step. I need two sets because two configs. Now I've never built two keyboards at the exact same time. I've got two kits of GS2 Gloria stabilizers and my fancy 205G0 and a loop brush. So why haven't I built a keyboard in a long time? That's a good question. I've just sort of been sick of it. You know, when you do the same thing over and over and over again, you get tired of it. And that's just what happens. Two PCBs. This is extra, isn't it? Yep. You put this first and then you put the stabilizers on top instead of me always trying to do the stabilizers first and then cutting this thing. Oh wait, there's different kinds of foam too? Are these the same or different? These are exactly the same. No difference, no difference. Filling two different types, which means I've got a lot of stabilizers. I think the case that I have, we're going for the 7U stabilizer. That's what Songkong means. Oh no, I spilled everything. So I'm going for the thick space bar. This is a messy situation because the cats love this stuff. I'm just gonna align everything before even starting. Get the count proper. One, two, three. And why would I want a stabilizer for my shift key? That's weird. Why is there that option? I mean, if you want, you could stabilize your shift key. I've never done that before. I don't think it's worth it. I'm not doing that today. Uh, but I spent way too much money on keyboards and keyboard related things. But thanks to PayPal, honey, I've been saving a lot of money whenever I buy these things. I shop online a lot for all of my keyboard and tech supplies. And thank goodness I have PayPal, honey, to help save me money. Honey is your money saving superhero. It lives on top of your browser. Boop, right there. Whenever you shop, it'll fly out into your page and that's pretty much it. Honey is super easy to use and it's free. Whether you're buying switches, mice, mouse pads, keyboards, PC parts, whatever, there's plenty of opportunities to see if you can save money here or there. Honey works on the websites that you're already using. It's not just keyboard stuff. You can use Honey anywhere. Food delivery, games, 
items, clothes, and more. You can get Honey for free by using the link down below at joinhoney.com slash switch and click. That is joinhoney.com slash switch and click. Also the first link in the description and back to the video. So some life updates while building said keyboard. It got sort of burned out and then we got a house. So we're closing on a home. We're gonna move soon. Everything's been just super hectic and I've been super busy. I also got obsessed with a game called Valorant. Actually still playing a lot of it. And I have a new channel also about Valorant. It's fun. It's like just me documenting my progress and what my goals are. Having fun improving on something that isn't making keyboards because you know I'm not really getting better at making keyboards. I don't know if that's like a skill. Maybe it is a skill that you get better at. But as long as I take the time to do it I feel like they end up pretty good. Because there's two convict figs I actually have like my gamer version and my work version so that would be fun to do. It could be like just the case I end up keeping the screws off all the time and, and just switching between the two but who knows. All right, the two switches I've got are Cherry MX Reds, the RGB edition. Even though this keyboard doesn't have RGB, I couldn't find the normal reds, which are the ones with black housing. So I've just got RGB reds. I like reds for gaming or silvers, but I don't have silvers at this time. And then the other config for work will be Keeps for All Pink Robin switches. These are just beautiful. Look at them. Pink housings, black stems, pre-lubed. Listen to this. Just a nice, beautiful sound. And I don't even need to lube them, which is the best part. The MX Reds, I'm just not gonna lube. I'm not about lubing gaming switches. I think it makes them key chatter. And from my experience, lubing switches has made them key chatter over time. So when it comes to gaming, uh, I just use some stock unlubed whatever i've got headphones on it really doesn't matter I'm gonna plop the switches in one at a time after putting this nice foamy stuff pour on smells like pour on. i don't know i don't know what pour on smells like but it feels like pour on therefore it must be pour on right right also i didn't count these switches i probably should and i think i will right right now i'm gonna count them 85, 90. There are just enough. Stabilizers are done. I'm now going to put foam on top of each one and then put the switches in. Then we'll be ready to solder. I really think that's it. I mean, honestly, I haven't checked any of my PCBs, which is a mistake. But there's two PCBs, so it's a 50 50% chance. There's not a lot of chances of it not working. You know, one is bound to work. It's gotta work. I'm I'm gonna bet on it. FR4 will go on the work keyboard. PC goes on the gaming keyboard. Uh, this is all wrong. So I'm actually an idiot and you need these because it's a TKL. I was thinking it was a small right shift, but it's a big right shift. So I'm gonna add on these right shift stabilizers and then put the switches back in because I put some in earlier and I had to take them out and I was like, ah, I'm so dumb. Done putting all the switches in and I'm gonna save soldering until tomorrow because I take my time when I build keyboards now instead of rushing them in a couple hours I'm just gonna yeah do it all tomorrow I'm pretty excited it's a pretty awesome build. I've never had a soldered build where I had two PCBs before and I think that's a really awesome thing. Good morning. It is day two and it is time to solder both builds. I'm gonna get all the equipment, get the fan so I don't die from soldering fumes. I'm gonna put on keycaps and it's gonna sound amazing. I just love that there's two variants. I can't wait. Compared to what I'm currently using, this is gonna be a big upgrade. Got my fan, my soldering supplies. It's been a while since I've done this so I think it's gonna take a little bit longer than usual. I'll take my time and make sure nothing is broken since these are precious. Both 
keyboards are soldered, I'm gonna go do the smart thing and test them both out before I make grave mistakes like building the keyboard and having it not work. Now is probably not the perfect time to test. I should have tested way earlier, but I like to take risks. So to the testing station. They both work perfectly. I only had to fix one key and that was the F5 on the MX Red version. Now it's time to put all these gaskets into the case and finish up. I watched a video where Alex Soto's built it and I sort of know where to put the gaskets. I'm just gonna go for it anyways. It's really hard to mess up gaskets anyways. And I'm going a little bit spicy with the keycaps too.